Hey guys, welcome back to Games Mods. Um, so we have the night uh, nightmare mod for the Nightingale from Foam Dimmick. Um, it looks pretty cool. Um, there are some good things about it, some bad things. But first off, I want to say I am sick at the moment, so pardon for uh, sniffling and coughing uh, while I'm filming this. Um, but first off, let's go over the kit here. So what is included is some hardware. Uh, the 3D printed parts, which is this right here, the one on the other side, as well as this InStrike stock attachment point, which I have to kind of wiggle off there, uh, like so. Um, to install it, you do not have to do uh, any body modification to the blaster itself, which I like. You do have to um, unscrew all the screws and clean the battery door. Take that out first, uh, undo all of the, uh, let's see here, all of the hex uh, screws on one side, including this button. Uh, this button, the mag release on the other side, uh, is a screw, so just keep that in mind. So unscrew that, and then uh, just do all the hex screws on this side. Um, when you put this piece on, you will take out the original uh, worker mod, a uh, little front uh, piece that usually goes right there, as well as the little clear to this inside of it. Um, it did not come with a uh, inner tube, like a replacement one, to go through this whole thing. Luckily, I had a spare, so I just put it in there. And I think this looks pretty cool. So it's basically uh, orange inner tube. I don't know what the diameter is. It's I don't know that long. Um, <clears throat> Uh, sorry, but um, I thought this on the end looked pretty cool because it's basically the same piece as a worker. Um, the kit itself comes with, like I said before, uh, the stock uh, thing uh, part as well as this uh, big giant front part. And it comes with all the screws to put on the Picatinny rail. There's one Picatinny rail here, one underneath here, one on this side, and then uh, two on top, which make one really long one, which is pretty cool. Um, this front grip I just put on from another blaster as well as these sights, um, you know, they went on just fine. Now, the only gripe that I have about this is I think the one that, uh, Xbox games had and I would have preferred if, um, somehow it was able to form to the back of this because if you look, there is a giant gap, but I understand why there's a gap because you do have to turn the nightingale on and off, right? Right there. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how he would have done it if he would have had it like there. Maybe, I don't know, form it to the more of the blaster around here and then have like a little hole open right from the bottom and then go over the top. I don't know. I'm not a uh, 3D printed uh, um, designer. <coughs> Um, but overall it looks pretty cool. Um, I think if this was more form fitting to the back part, um, this part that's holding the actual stock attachment point would be more rigid. I tightened it pretty tight and it is pretty tight on there, but you know, it's still 3D printed. So if you put enough pressure on the back of this onto your shoulder, it will bend a little bit, not too much, but you know, if you give it to a kid, they probably will break it off. Um, I tried different socks on this. This is actually a, I can't tell if this is a, I think this is a 3D printed stock I got from somewhere. Um, but any of the worker ones will fit on here. I just thought this looked more <coughs> in tune with the whole entire look. Um, I don't know if I'll keep this on this. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but I heard that if you don't use the inner barrel here and um, you just use the hollow tube that you know it comes with, uh, darts do hit the sides and you're, you're going to lose FPS. Now, if you don't use this inner barrel, um, it does come with this. And this, you have to kind of twist and friction fit that in there. It does fit. Um, but I wanted to use the tube, so I used that instead. Um, and I think, it, I think it actually looks a lot better. Um, I'm going to go ahead and charge the battery for this and then uh, I'll show you guys a uh, firing demo, see how that looks. 
All right, guys, we got the uh, Nightmare Kit on our Nightingale here. I load up uh, 15 rounds in the uh, Slim magazine that goes with it. Put that in just like that. I'm going to turn on, and we are ready to fire. Let's see how it does. Am I already out? Oh, I am. So, I don't know if you guys saw that, but... A few did spiral out of the front there, um, probably because they are hitting uh, the inside of that long barrel, which I had a feeling it would. So, yeah, um, I may just take this kit off. Um, I don't know what to do with it, but I thought it'd be a cool video. Um, Actually, what I, what I really want to do is I really want to get another Nightingale so I can have a pair and then uh, figure out how to do uh, magnet holsters for them. I think that'd be pretty cool. Or um, uh, just have, you know, holsters on my uh, loadout for them. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, it's uh, $45 on uh, Etsy. Let me know what you think about it. I think my variant is pretty cool. Um, but I am going to go take some diamond tap, take a hot shower and, uh, pass out. But, uh, please like, follow, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye.